say this, so I'm going to pack it up because this is probably the longest one I ever, ever made for the African American Muslim group economics. This guy, I happen to see this guy in a, in a locality that I stay at. And so my man, he said, uh, now just to remind, I'm going to CVS. I see him a lot all, all around the locality where I stay at. And, you know, I'm just going to CVS and he stopped me. We talking, we chopping it up. And he started talking about uh, African-American group economics. And I said, I thought he don't know who you're talking to. He don't know that I actually have the, uh, the organization African-American Muslim, uh, Muslim group economics. So me and him, we talking and he talking about the same stuff I'm talking about right now. And. He talking and he was like, you know, we need to start supporting each other, man, you know. So what I did was I said, okay. I said, it sounds good, man. It sounds real good. But it sounds even better when you put it into reality. So I said, I'm going to put you to the test. I got a shop right downtown. I sell oils. I got a shop downtown. Come through and support a brother. <laughs> I said, my bottles ain't number seven dollars. Let's listen to what this man said. This man and it's and it, listen what this man said. And, and it's a shame because he this man, I think he's from Jamaica. So this show you how much the African American Willie Lynn syndrome have rubbed off on him because people from Jamaica they don't even think like people were African Americans. So this 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 brother told me, he said. Oh, man, you know, I got a family and, you know, I got kids I got to take care of. I'm like, $7? Like, you that broke? <laughs> you that broke? You can't spend $7? Oh, I, you know, I ain't got no car. Man, listen, you, if you take this bus right here, this where we at right now, where we standing at right now, this bus will take you directly to my shop. Just one bus. It would drop you off right in front of my shop, right in front of it. You'll be there by 15 minutes. Oh, I'll be working and stuff like that. You work every day? No, I don't work every day. Constantly making excuses. It goes back to what I said. Actions always speak louder than words. Actions always speak louder than words. Don't listen to what they say. Listen to what they do. Don't listen to what they say. Listen and watch what they do. And the reason why I say listen to what they do is because whatever they do is actually speaking volumes. You understand? It's speaking volumes. Little do you know. It's your guy Issa, man. And I hope that this was a benefit, man, to you brothers in the African-American Muslim community, man. Please. Your brothers, man, get it together, man, because it's not looking good, man. I'm 31 years old. I don't know what you brothers want to do. I don't. I, I, you brothers that are 40, almost kicking 40 in the butt, 40 plus, 50, 60. I listen. I don't know what you brothers want to do. But me personally, myself, man, I want to become a millionaire. Okay, I'm working and inspiring to become a millionaire. You understand? And so. Inshallah, if Allah permits for me to become a millionaire, I am coming back to the African-American Muslim community. And I am looking for brothers who got businesses so I can throw money back into the community. You understand? And I'm quite sure, I'm quite sure that there will be brothers that I do not like. That I will be actually... Marketing their uh, uh 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 helping them to enhance the business. There will be brothers that I actually don't like. But you it's but it's, it's one word for that, man. Tolerance, man. You gotta have tolerance. I may not like you, but I still spend my money with you. Because when I spend my money with you, your business expand and excel, right? And your business expand. When you expand, you got to what? You got to hire more people. When you hire more people, guess what? You're going to look, you're going to hire who?